everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out. I'm in my Erin Condren Daily Duo uh, A5 size today. I wanted to do a plan with me for actually this week. It's Monday and I have not yet put together this planner, so I thought we could do it together. I've got several things with me here. I have my tweezers. I have my cutting tool. I have a few albums. So this album, I just have Big Deco in. I decided to use an album just to keep all my Sweet Kawaii Design Large Deco in so that I could pull it whenever I wanted. I have my school album. I go back to work this week. So I got out my school stuff. We'll see how much I use it. I also got out my sassy album because again, I go back to work. So it calls for some sassy stickers. And then for decoration, I pulled this out of my $2 Tuesday albums. This was from the back to school kit this week who I designed it last year. So um, it's just, obviously you can see I've used a lot of it already. I'm going to use up most of the rest of it today. I've got enough full boxes and when I don't have enough full boxes, that's where I'm going to pull that big deco. I've got some headers. How cute is Frank with his little chalkboard? Um, quarter boxes. And then I have these date covers and then the big washi. So I've been using this daily duo from Erin Condren for a while. Um, I started, I don't know, in like March maybe? April? I don't remember. I got it for like 50% off. So I figured, you know, why not try it? I wanted to put all my to-dos in here um, instead of having a to-do planner. And I, I really like it. It's not perfect, but I really like it. So here's my last week. So you can see, you know, I've got the different stuff we're doing here and then all of my to-dos. I love the fruit kit from last year. It's so cute. And this is Simply Gilded. And then on this back page back here, this is the one thing that's not as convenient for me. So I put all of the random to do's that I need to do, but not necessarily like, oh, I want to do them that, that day. I put them here and I don't tend to look at this page probably as much as I should. So I'm not as productive with these more have to get them done, but like not right now type of deal. So I don't know. I still have to figure that out a little bit, but um, again, it's already Monday. Um, this probably won't go up till Monday afternoon. Um, but there you go. Oh, I also pulled this sweet Kawhi Design washi tape. It's for reading, but I figured that's perfect, right? For back to school, even though going back to school means I'm not gonna be able to read quite as much, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get, so I like to use, if I have enough, I like to use the big washi here. Um, and then the small washi here. Sometimes I'll use this size washi both places, but since I have this that um, I've got eight of them so I can actually do one each day. It'll work out perfectly. All right, I went ahead and did all of the washi. Got that done. Okay, and you know, by doing it this way, couple things I like. It covers up this little calendar for the most part that I don't use. Um, and then I'm able to use the date covers up here um, and cover these up. However, it does cover up until eight, which is fine this week. But during the school year, I'm out of the house before, before eight. I am well already at work um, by eight. So I don't know if it really matters. I mean, I know what time I go to work, so it's not like I really have to mark it. But you know how sometimes you're like, oh, well, I need to have everything right in my planner. It needs to be accurate, which is really kind of silly because it's, again, it's not like I don't know when I go to work. So this year, I think I've mentioned, if you've watched my previous videos, my daughter, and maybe I haven't, my daughter is starting high school um, tomorrow, actually. She has her orientation tomorrow, um, which it's, it's going to be really interesting because um, as I've mentioned, I'm a teacher and my kids have always gone to school in the district in which I teach. Um, and so, you know, I know everybody in that we're a pretty small district as far as districts go. And so I know everyone um, in the district and I know how to find information and who to talk to and all that stuff. But high school is a totally different district. So it's a whole new ball game um, for me. So it's just it's kind of weird that it's like, oh, you know, like, I don't know who to contact for. Hmm, look at that. I don't even actually need headers for this. I was going to put header, but I don't need it. Um, sorry, I digress. I don't know who to contact for stuff. I spent all this time yesterday, like, how do I find her student ID so that I can order pictures? And 
I think I made it a whole lot more complicated than I needed to make it, but I really didn't want to have to be that parent who called the school office today and be like, I need my kid's ID number. So, I mean, it's fine, but I'm sure they get a million of those. So if I can go ahead and take care of it myself, it's saving everybody a whole lot of trouble. And last night, I don't know, probably at like 10, I finally figured it out and I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. Ordered her pictures, got everything done, and that gives me the picture is okay, fine. I'm sure there would have been a better, another opportunity or something. But um, what I was worried about is she has orientation tomorrow for two hours. I don't think she probably gets her schedule. It'd be nice if she did so she could at least try to figure out um, where her first class is on campus since it's a big campus. There's like 2,000 kids at this high school, which is significantly bigger than her middle school. Um, but I don't, I don't think they're going to hand out schedules. I'm pretty sure they come online at like 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Um, so we shall figure it out. And everybody will be in the same boat. So she'll be fine. She's excited about the start of school, I think. You know, she says, oh, school, I don't want to start. But this is a whole new adventure. You know, it's, it's exciting, I think. Um, so that'll be fun. She's got orientation tomorrow and then she starts like start starts on Wednesday and she's like every day's a different schedule they've got block periods flex periods collaboration it's it's crazy I'm sure she will get completely 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 used to it okay so this welcome back sorry I'm like jumping all over the place this welcome back sticker I'm going to put on Thursday because that's that's the day I go back and of course it's facing the wrong way Poe is facing off the page which I don't like but not a lot I can do um, back to school, the most wonderful time of the year. I completely disagree. However, we'll put that here. Today is actually um, really fun. My kids went to work with my husband to help um, do some stuff at his work, like mop and sweep and paint and stuff. Uh, oh my goodness, that's crooked. Wow. Um, so I'm here by myself which means I could do a bunch of stuff in um, my rec room. Oh, you know why? Look, I put that on crooked. Oh man, so this is gonna look crooked no matter what I do. I'll line it up up here. Um, so I had a bunch of D stash that I really wanted to get through and I got through that stuff, which was really nice. And oh my gosh, that is going to bug me. Um, I'm doing this video. All my other planners for the week are finished, which is great. Um, and I'm doing like a bazillion loads of laundry. We, uh, oh, there's a little wrinkle there. That's okay. We went on a trip this past week. So that was really, really fun. Okay. So looking at my, I'll tell you about the trip in just a second. I just have to figure this out. This whole, you know, talking and planning at the same time. I get myself in trouble here because I can't remember what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've got a full box on that. So I think I'll put a full box on these two pages just so I have these other full boxes, but I, you know, that way I kind of scatter the cute critters out. Alrighty, and we'll put, I love these little binder paper full boxes. Okay, so our trip. We really didn't do a lot of traveling um, this summer. Summer, obviously for me and the kids, for the kids and me, um, it's pretty chill because we're not in school, but for my husband, um, that's when his work gets busy. So, uh, it's not a great time for us to take trips. We will sometimes be able to squeeze in like right at the beginning of summer or right at the end of summer, a little trip. So we did have house guests. We had grandparents come and stay with us, which was awesome. Um, but as far as going somewhere, that can be really challenging. So, um, hold on. I need to go get my pre-plan for the week. I just realized, how am I going to put in all my stuff if I don't have it right in front of me? Because I'm not going to remember all of it. Okay. Got my pre-plan here um, of stuff that we're going to do this week. The weekend is pretty chill, but this week is insanity. Um, anyway, so our trip, we decided, you know, we're in the Bay Area in California and we decided to drive south to Cambria, Cambria. I think it's, I think the locals call it Cambria. I, for some reason, want to say Cambria, like Cambridge, but I think it's Cambria. Um, it's really close to San Simeon and San Simeon is where Hearst Castle is. 
So you might be familiar with Hearst Castle. All right, I gotta match these colors kind of here. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna put this here because the kids went to work. Um, and it was so fun. We literally drove down there Tuesday and then we drove home. Let's see, we're gonna go see the Barbie movie tonight. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet and I'm really excited. We're going with a whole bunch of my daughter's friends. Um, so I've got, I'm gonna note that my kids went to work with my husband here and then um, that we've got the Barbie movie there. Okay, um, let's see, I've got pink here. I'm gonna do the colors where I wanna match the full boxes first. So pink and then light purple. And then I'm gonna go back and use the other colors on the other pages, just because I like to match my colors. Anyway, can I get back to my trip? So we drove down on Tuesday morning. It was great. The hotel where we stayed, it's a little boutique hotel. Totally recommend. It was really fun. We got a family suite. The kids were super excited because this like little suite, you walk in and there's one bedroom with a king bed. And then, um, and then you walk through double doors and there's another bedroom with two queens. And then there's like a bathroom and stuff like that. They both had pretend fireplaces that like glowed, but didn't put out heat you know, a table, chairs. It was basic, but it was really cute. Um, the place was really neat. They had happy hour from five to seven each night. You go get a couple complimentary beverages, adult or not. My daughter tried Shirley Temples for the first time. She loved them. She, she's like, mom, you have to go get Sprite and Grenadine at the store now so I can have them at home. Um, and so that was really fun. Um, it's called the Rigdon House. And again, I would totally stay there. Super friendly, really neat. It's not like crazy upscale, um, but it's just nice. It's easy. It's it's in downtown Cambrai. We could walk to our most favorite restaurant. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's called Linz, L-I-N-N-S. Started off as a fruit stand decades ago and the food was absolutely phenomenal. I can't even tell you how amazing it was. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm stuck here. I don't know what to do because I want to note that I go to work 8.30, I don't know, it's 8.30 to 3 or 8.30 to 3.30. I have to read the email again for professional development all day. And my daughter has school and I have to note that it's the flex A schedule. So I guess I'll just kind of put these like here on top of each other because they both are literally at 8.30, so whatever. Saturday, we've just got piano. Um... Anyway, it was it was really, really neat. Small town. Um, then we could drive to this place called Moonstone Beach. It was about a mile away. I guess we could have walked, but it, you know, we don't want to. Um, it would have been like across Highway 1. I don't really want to walk across the highway. Um, so we didn't do that. But um, we drove there. We walked all along this really neat boardwalk. Not a boardwalk with like games and stuff, but just a literally a walking path made of boards. Beautiful with the ocean right there. It was, the weather was gorgeous. Um, it was it was really quite lovely. Okay, let's see. After that, no, purple. Well, purple. Okay. Um, really just a fun trip. And then on Wednesday, our first full day. I mean, Tuesday we got there. And we got there at like 1230. So we had most of the day. Um, we did a little shopping in downtown. There's this really great cookie company. It's like the Red Moose Cookie Company or something. Really good cookies. Um Okay, so, sorry, I'm like jumping back and forth here. I've got registration for um, some shows that my kids want to do opening at 10. My daughter has her orientation from 11 to 1. So maybe I just move this up a little bit. Okay, um, so let's see, 11 to 1. Let me just finish this day. And then, ugh, that's crooked. Okay. And then we have the parent orient. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, I have so many things. Parent orientation from five to six. Okay. And then my kids also have voice from 4.30 to 5.30, which obviously they're gonna have to do online. I'm just gonna write that in because um, I can't get them to their voice lesson while I am at a uh, parent orientation. Okay, I am going to put one of these little things down here to note, I believe at after six o'clock schedules become available. Um, 
I could put something for the voice. We'll put a little lunchbox. It has nothing to do with voice, but it's cute. <laughs> um, let's see, that's, put that right in there. That reminds me, I need to email the voice teacher to say, oh my goodness, can we please do this online? Okay, um, after purple, we'll do orange on this page. Um, I've got several things. Maybe we we'll, won't, we'll, oh my God, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, as I like talk to myself here. Anyway, on Wednesday, we went to Hearst Castle. If you've never been to Hearst Castle, I had never been, and I've grown up in this area my entire life. I've been in California my whole life. The only, well, I went to college in Southern California. So I drove by that area all the time, um, but I'd never been. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I can't even tell you how much I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna put this here because it is my daughter's first day of high school. Um, okay, and then uh, violin from three to four. Okay, perfect. And I, we have mattresses and some furniture being delivered this day, but I won't know until tomorrow the three hour window. So I'm just not gonna mark it yet. Okay, anyway, let's see, you did that. I haven't done, I'll do green maybe. Um, it was amazing. If you love history, if you love just like learning stuff, you know, we were on this tour. There were like 50 people in the tour. They're, it's run by the state. You can sign up for lots of different tours. I picked the one that was best for first time visitors because we were first time visitors. Um, so that's what I did. And um, let's see, I have a work day here. I wanna note that my daughter has a flex B schedule that day. I'm not gonna note that every day in my planner going forward. I feel like these first few days, I'm just not gonna remember. Oh my gosh. And then from nine to 12, <laughs> I don't have enough room. Um, from nine to 12, I guess I gotta scoot this up. My son has training at the middle school because he's a student ambassador and um, he's training for like the welcome day. So let's see, that's nine to 12. So I'll just put I'm just gonna put my thing here, that's fine. And whatever, I know I'm going to work that day. And then my daughter, where's my school stuff? My daughter has an audition workshop um, in the afternoon, because she is going to be auditioning for the school musical. And they have an, a workshop after school to let the kids know, you know, what to expect. Okay. Whew, man, now I can just put fun things on because we have nothing going on on Sunday, but I do need to decorate. Um, anyway, I chose the tour that was best for first time visitors because, well, duh, we're a first time visitor. And um, it was, you know what? You know what I'm gonna put? I'm gonna put little Frank here on the ground, like bleh, because, well, that's how I know I'm going to feel by the end of the first day. I'm gonna put this cute little pencil here that's perfect for my son's activity, especially if I could get it on there a little bit straighter. Okay, and then we've got Frank, just like, uh, I am done, 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 done. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and put some fun, snarky stickers that'll make me giggle as my week goes on. So as I do this, I'll tell you the rest of the story about the trip. So um, anyway, this tour was wonderful. You drive there, you park, um, you check in, you get your tickets, and, uh, and then they bus you up to the castle because it's, it's pretty far up there, which is amazing to think about the fact that it was built in the early 1900s. I mean, 1920s, 30s in there. Um, one of my most favorite stickers. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here because that's my first day back. And well, I know I'm gonna be like, bleh. Not that anything bad's gonna happen. It's just, you know, bleh. Um, and the whole bus ride is narrated by Alex Trebek. Um, and I love him. So, um, it's really fun to listen to. And then you go and um, 
you have this great tour. There were a couple small children on the tour, like little, little, you know, like one, two year olds. Um, they, they did not appreciate the tour as much as the rest of us appreciated the tour, which is fair. It's totally fair. Um, so I don't know if I'd recommend it for like little, little kids. My kids loved it. My son was like, oh my gosh, when I grow up, like I want to have something that's going to be turned into a museum when I die. You go on with your bad self. Um, it was, it was fascinating. You saw the common rooms, you saw some of the grounds, the pools, indoor, outdoor, just stunning. And the history and the guy at the end, who was like, you know, we're looking for more tour guides. And I was like, that is a job I could do. <laughs> I would think that that would be so, so fun. Um, you know, I'm not like ready to like pick up and move there. Um, however, that would be a really, really interesting, I think, and fun job. Sorry, I just got to add this. It's too people -y outside because oh, I got people again. Crazy. Um, let's see. Okay, there we go. Anyway, it was a really fun trip. And then we went to Lynn's again for dinner because yum. And then um, we also saw the elephant seals at Piedras Blanca's rookery area. It was really neat. And um, then we drove home Thursday and it was just such a great little getaway. I'm so, so glad that we were able to do it. Okay, now that I've totally jumped back and forth between planner and trip and everything going on, this is just such a busy week. I feel like my brain is crazy. Uh, my, my planner is done for this week. Um, I'm gonna have to go in and fill in all of my to do's and I'm totally going to put stuff on here that I've already done. Like I already unloaded the dishwasher this morning at like 7 30 when I got up. So I'm going to put that on there and check it off. I've gone through one of my like a billion, billion loads of laundry. I'm going to check that off too. Um, but there's several things I need to get done. So I'm going to go tackle that. I'm going to edit this, upload it and see how fast I can get it going. Um, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy planning.